here we go again. So I'm at the airport right now with Christina and her dad, but they're dropping me off and I'm flying alone again. So if you guys remember, I flew alone last year and that video kind of blew up a little bit. So that was really unexpected because I literally filmed that on my iPhone and I edited it on my iPhone using iMovie and the editing was so bad, but you guys still liked it. So here we are with part two because I'm flying today from Shanghai, China to Honolulu, Hawaii. So that'll be kind of fun. I have this fat zit on my um, face. And yeah, it's been three weeks of eating really badly, or two-ish, so this is what happens. I'm perpetually bloated now and I need to get back and work out because I'm not doing well. So I'm here in Shanghai on a like 16 hour layover because um, I was flying from Taipei into here so I was here for 16 hours and then in that time I got my nails done for the first time actually. I got this like blue sparkly color that I'm really into. I feel like Cinderella. And Christina and her dad are staying here for a little bit longer because they're gonna go to Chongqing and stuff like that. So I'm flying back alone and it's gonna be a 10 hour flight and aren't you excited for me? I'm really excited to see who my seatmate is because I am a little bit nervous because last time I haven't always had the best experience sitting next to people. But good thing um, I'm sitting on the aisle seat today because if you guys remember last time I kept sitting in the window seat when I was flying alone and it was just horrible because I always had to pee. So it'll be better this time, I hope. Okay, so I'm literally crouching on the side of like this walkway right here because I can't find anywhere that's like isolated because I don't want people to like hear me talk because I know they're probably gonna get annoyed or they're just gonna be confused as to why I am and today I was meeting my friend for the very first time her name's Leanne you guys can follow her I'll put her Instagram right here she's so pretty and um I was meeting here for the first time today and I had this wonderful acne here so in all our pictures they're not even that cute well she looks so cute because she's so beautiful but I just look like this next to her, so. I wanted to go to the bathroom because I need to change, but um, I'm really confused by this bathroom situation because for some reason the doors are just like locked up. And I tried to walk that way because apparently there's another bathroom that way, but then all the signs just keep pointing this way. So I'm just gonna wait to go downstairs, which is where my gate is, and just go to the bathroom there later because I wanna change out of my current outfit because I'm wearing like a tank top and a midi skirt and uh, that's not airport ready for me because I mean like I'll survive but I'd rather wear something more comfortable since I get so cold in the plane I don't know why and I don't want to deal with that so right now I think we're gonna go to Starbucks because it's right over there and I have missed Starbucks so much like I was going like every day in Taipei and then we went to Miaoli and that was like for two weeks and then I just never got Starbucks at all and I missed it so I want to go get some this is so cool to have nails done like I just love it like especially because like the only color I've ever tried on myself is pink and it's so like unnoticeable so it's really awesome to have like a really flashy color I'm excited to see what my mom thinks of it because she does not like when I paint my nails because it's bad for you and it's really damages your nails but like whatever <laughs> this gel was so pretty it was literally um 14 USD for me it was 22 because I couldn't download the app that gives you the discount but still $22 for gel nails and it's super cute I love it I also wanted you guys to meet Egghead Jessica won him for me in the claw machine she won four stuffed animals in 20 minutes and she's just a boss a shifu so um, this is Eggy I love him. I think a lot of people just walked by and saw me kiss him, so that was really weird. They're walking by right now. Okay, so yeah, this is Eggy. La, 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 la. <laughs> He's so cute, I love him. I like to put him in like random areas, so you should follow my Instagram at Lee to watch my stories because I just love Eggy and I think he's so cute. La, 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 la. So yeah, that's him. His name's Egghead. I know his real name's Guritama. Don't like come for me. I just want to call him Egghead because I think it's kind of cute and fitting. I don't know why. So yeah, let's just go to Starbucks. Guys, I kid you not, this guy's name is Meat. M-E-A-T. I'm trying to show you right now. Hold on. 
Okay, so I just went to Starbucks, got my caramel macchiato. It's so small and cute. Look at that. It's literally half the size of my face. And it's so cool because I have nails now. So like, I don't know, like when I hold drinks, it like looks better and it makes me happy. Because I always have like ugly nails and it's just not cute when you're like holding stuff, you know? So now I can be a hand model. Not really, because I literally um, pulled off my hangnail and it's bleeding, so that was great. Um, I accidentally ordered my macchiato in hot and I meant cold, so they had to redo it and I felt bad, but like I didn't spend like six USD to have to suffer through my drink. And I asked for soy milk and this is really interesting. I guess I've never tried Chinese soy milk in my life and it definitely tastes different. It like coats your mouth more and their macchiato is definitely a lot less sweet and the caramel is all stuck at the lid so I can't have any and it's kind of sad because I love the caramel the plus here is that they do use paper straws which is really good because in America they're still using plastic straws so I'm not sure what's going on with that because if anything I would think America's trying to like change it because I feel like Americans are more like yeah, like climate change, blah, 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 you know? So, I don't know. But now, I finally found a bathroom. I just walked out from Starbucks and the bathroom's right there. So that's awesome. So now I can go change into my comfy outfit. However, the absolute worst thing about flying alone is that you have to take all your stuff inside. So I have my carry-on right here, then I have my drink, and then I have my backpack. So it's just a lot of stuff I need to be carrying around into the stall and I don't know what I'm going to do with my drink so hopefully they have like this little handler thing that I can put down we're going down it's quite interesting to be like in this area right here because the last time I was um, at this gate was two or three years ago and oops wait we got to the end of the escalator so the last time I was at this gate actually I was going to Korea so I definitely miss Seoul a lot I didn't even think it was like that fun I just thought that the food was so good but I didn't really like the rainy weather because then you can't really do much but the food was just so good also I'm just keep being distracted by my pimples so if you're distracted then like me too because it's so red and so like 3d you know like I just want to like not have it obviously okay so we just got to the gate now and literally there's nowhere to sit so here I am on the floor okay so I'm trying really hard to get a seat but here we are in Asia and people here are not the most like considerate I guess so they just like to put all their stuff on all their seats and they're like oh someone's sitting here but a lot of times they're lying and they're like doobie but you know they don't care they're not actually sorry and all the folks this is my little bear that we got in Taiwan. It ended up opening up, so um, Xiao Po Po, which is Christina's grandma, had to fix it for me, and it actually looks pretty good now. He's not completely back to normal, but you know, from here, he's fine. Also, um, the lady next to me is really nice enough to let me sit there because she saw me sitting on the floor, so I think she's just going to carry one of her kids, and like, thank you for giving me more faith in the um, Chinese population because I know like I can speak for myself like when I'm here in China I just feel like I get more mean just because everyone is just kind of mean here so like if people are like pushing you and like rude to you then like you want to be rude back but you should try to be the nice person and maybe better things will happen to you we're taking the bus to a place now. So here we are on the plane and I'm sitting, ugh, what the heck. I'm sitting right here and this right here. I want to sit here though because I get all that space. Okay, so the guy that's sitting next to me so far seems a little bit problematic already because he keeps trying to get up and he's window seat and I'm aisle seat. So um, I have to keep getting up and like I really don't enjoy that at all. So hopefully like one of us can get upgraded to the seat right in front of us so we don't have to like deal with each other because yeah also I'm in here in the bathroom for that good lighting before we take off and yeah hopefully you guys can hear me I don't know but yeah we'll see people can probably hear me talking from the bathroom and they're like walking by right now so <laughs> this guy's hella shook because he's trying to move into the seat that I was talking about that has a lot of space and the person told him it's a thousand dollars per seat and he's so shook right now it's kind of funny <laughs> You mean bread? <laughs> <laughs>
butterfly. Oh yes, of course. It... Hmm? Whoa, whoa, whoa! We got some extreme turbulence right. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Um, I feel like I'm on a roller coaster a little bit, but um, it's fine. It's fun. So it's been an hour into the flight and I feel nausea. So. trying to like make it up for us for the 10 hours of turbulential torture but we had a good landing it was very smooth and I didn't feel any of the but um but um but um that was nice I guess but uh, I am nauseous so we finally got out I met my mom and my dad's here too oh I see him there he is hi hello hi Danny I, I took really long because oh, I got random yeah. inspection. Nice. Oh, you got an inspection? Yeah, they opened up everything because um my I have that big box, but it's just pineapple cake. But um I don't think people here like not everyone knows what pineapple cake was, so they're like, what's that? And I was like, uh, hello. <laughs> but we're back, and I'm really happy. It's uh, windier here, not as hot. My mom said my dad looks younger now that I'm back. <laughs> I'm excited. Mom, I got my nails done. So she did end up letting me keep my nails on until the end of my brother's wedding, which is like blue theme, so keeping these for it. And they're also already growing out, so that's not that cute, but it's whatever. Um, no one's going to be looking. Anyways, thank you for making it to the end of my video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. 
and I hope this like helps you a little bit because I know in my last flying alone video a lot of you guys found like more comfort through it or something and like it sounds scary but it's actually like super easy and super chill to fly alone and I honestly really like it because it's just easy I guess and you don't really have you can do whatever you want to do so yeah that's nice the only thing is that uh sitting next to strangers is always annoying i've never had a pleasant experience yet so this guy just kept getting up and i felt so nauseous every time and it was just rough and the turbulence was really bad but usually there are no issues with turbulence like i've never ever gotten sick on a plane before until this time so that was really really weird but i'm finally all back to normal and yeah uh thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe whatever whatever um i'm going to be posting my travel vlogs because i was traveling in taipei and then shanghai so i do have some vlogs from that that i need to post later but i literally still have my um trip from june to edit too so it's just a mess i have a lot to do but I wanted to do this video first because I know you guys really like it. I honestly like it a lot too. So yeah, follow me on Instagram at Lee if you'd like to see more of just me because I'm on there a lot more than I am on YouTube, obviously, because this takes a long time for me to edit. So yeah, bye. See you in my next video.